In the UK, pacemakers have been implanted in babies as young as five days old to people who are over 100. About 25,000 pacemakers are implanted in the UK each year and around 3 million people worldwide have a pacemaker. So this is the Abraham Lucas pacemaker. It consisted of a, a coil that was placed under the skin and electrodes that were attached to the outside of the heart. On the surface of the skin, a second coil was taped, usually with adhesive tape, and attached to a battery pack that would sit in the patient's pocket. And the heart rate would be adjusted using this. So this is a pacemaker from about 10 years later, the 1970s. Still a large battery, but now that would be implanted under the skin. The lead, instead of being sutured on the outside of the heart, would be passed down a vein into the heart. And then coming towards more modern pacemakers, they're getting much smaller, the size of a matchbox or less, and also really quite thin. So this is an example of a pacemaker lead or wire. This part would be passed through a vein just under the collarbone and fed down to the heart under x-ray guidance. And then this end would be attached to the battery like this. And then that would sit just under the collarbone here. So the battery life depends on how hard the pacemaker has to work, whether it's just working intermittently or whether the patient requires the pacemaker all the time. But on average, lithium batteries today will last between six and 10 years. When the battery is nearing its end of life, the patient will be asked to come up to the hospital for a, a battery change. The skin is reopened, the leads are disconnected, and a new battery is attached to the previous leads. So implanting a, a small pacemaker about the size of a, a tablet into the heart without this sort of lead. So this greatly reduces the risk of infection and lead problems for the patient. The heart has cells in it which are intrinsically electric and scientists are working on reprogramming cells through genetic modification to create more of the heart's own intrinsic pacemaker cells and subsequently injecting them into the heart. This early work was done on guinea pigs and more recently it's been taken into a large animal model, the pig. Yeah, the, the, the pig heart is a similar size to the human heart and electrically it functions in the same way. 